And Victoria thinks she's pregnant or something for some reason. What? What did you? Don't play me, baby. This is a real test. Child. It's go time. <laughs> we got the snacks ready and we are loading our bags, getting yes. ready to go. We just but, wanted to share a little of packing our hospital bags. I know a lot of people wonder what should I bring when I go to the hospital. Well, I'd like to tell you this is my third time. I still don't know what to bring. Mm. So, anyways, you need to bring. Okay, sorry you guys, my cameraman is an amateur. <laughs> but um, you need to bring snacks. You know, you need to look a little healthy, you know, but then start going down on the totem pole to sour stuff. He says these probably aren't even sour, but we will determine that in the hospital if we even get to eat them. Anyway, so get you some snacks. Ding! And then get you a nursing pillow. Ding! And then... Uh, are you really recording me? <laughs> yeah, who else want to record? <laughs> okay. And then get you some entertainment. Um, That's how they look smaller than last time. <laughs> I've seen it. Uh, well, we've got computers. Get you some entertainment. Make sure it's charged. Okay, so I would say normally you stay, if you have a regular delivery, normally you stay, uh, I think it's like 48 hours after the baby comes. So you at least need two outfits, one for while you're after you have the baby and then one for when you go home. And so that's what I would pack and I'd pack you a little a robe. And a little coat because it's always cold in the hospital because they got to keep those germs away because y'all nasty. All right. And then um, I'm all about the aromatherapy. Uh, oh, I'm in. I'm. Oh, <clears throat> I don't know what that is. But, anyways, y'all, you guys, I'm so natural. Like, I use. Um, what did we use even last time? Some aroma. Okay, but what do we use? Like peppermint, or what were we using? Cause yeah, I think somebody said that. Yeah, and this helps. is like or something. Yeah. You okay. Try and then um, get you some shower shoes. And normally they provide a lot of stuff. Like they provide you a little toothbrush. I mean, I don't know what they provide at this hospital, honestly. But normally they give you little socks and a toothbrush and some soap you know and your little rag and stuff like that but uh yeah so hopefully and they got a bed for me yeah but no i heard it's like super nice oh yeah yeah from through the grapevine so because we are a new are we, no. new wing oh no no not no it not was, when we first had it the the baby room they, that wasn't new but after the baby room was oh new. okay okay um, the postpartum. Bring your phone and your charger. Make sure you get your chargers, people. You need your charger. And you can bring your pillow and your blanket, but I don't do that because I don't want to bring my stuff up there. I'm just there to have a baby and live life. And then, of course, you need your baby bag, but um, oh, I guess I'll tell y'all what I'm bringing. For the baby. So, if you don't know what you're having, which we don't know, yeah, that's right. So rich. Um, but this is Aquaphor, which we stand by. Tell them. Yes, we're endorsed by Aquaphor. Yes, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We stand by Aquaphor. Um, and it you use so little, it makes so much. Like, 
I mean, anytime Lewis ever got a diaper rash, it would be like one hour and it'd be gone, you know? And uh, so get that and then get your little passies or if you want to be particular, then get you some blankets. If it's the winter, you can get them a little hat or something. And then if you don't know if it's girl or boy, I would say bring about four outfits of each just so you have selection and put it in these little bags. My um, best friend taught me this and it makes me feel like... You got your I, life together. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. So I definitely have my life together and always have mittens for your little babies. And um, for the little girls, you know they like sell these on Amazon. Let me show y'all for the little girls. If anybody's wondering what, like, how they get those hats with the bows on. They sell them on Amazon, and that's so cute. So anyways. Not with your hands in them like that. <laughs> but with the baby's head, yeah, that'd be cute. All right then. <laughs> and so always make sure you have mittens, cause they're little fingernails some people have guts to cut them when they first come out, but I don't think Raph and I, we have the guts to cut them, right? Yeah, it's too small. Yeah, it's too small. Too miniature for me. Um, so anyways, and so basically pack your bag um, whenever you feel like it. Yeah, like the night before. <laughs> you gotta go. yeah, but no, you... You should pack it probably about a week, 37, 38, just to be prepared, especially if you don't know when you're gonna go over. But, ding. Oh, should we have gotten juice or something? Yeah, we got water, juice. water. Okay. All right, for my portion, all you gotta do is bring yourself and what? show up and support your lovely wife and okay, hold so her hand. Therefore, you're not changing your clothes? No, you just bring the essentials, you know, some drawers, undershirts. Hey, people are watching this. Yeah, everybody wears drawers. Okay, but nobody says drawers. Say okay, underwear. underwear. Undergarment sounds more. Undergarments. Um, and uh, I don't even know what else you need to bring besides a toothbrush and yeah, toothpaste. Yeah, I guess it's just <laughs> entertainment. Your child being born into the world. Yeah, and some uh, something to entertain your time, <laughs> distract your wife, something. Yeah. Uh, well, you did. Um, I know a technique that I haven't seen on the internet or whatever. Huh. <laughs> what That's, technique? Um, for when you having the contractions is like every time I would go, you would see it on the monitor, you would grab my ankles, and that helped me um, through the contractions last time. Yeah, I did that before. You didn't do that for Lewis. You didn't yeah. know to, but you just, it was like natural instinct. I hadn't read that anywhere. And you were like, here it comes, and like. Oh yeah, yeah, cause I could see it coming, the spike on the little chart or whatever. That's how you know when you're pro. Yeah, because, I mean, I know I took a pain management, or not a management class, but like pain theory type class. So I know it helps your body if you have a distraction. Like if you hit your elbow or something, you grab your elbow real quick. That's you should just, okay, just stomp your toe the entire, um, yeah, stomp your toe, stomp so your toe that, that the pain. entire uh, labor. I mean, but yeah, um, that'll help distract your mind. Yeah, but so he grabbed my ankle. You need to get your bag. You don't even have your bag. So you bring your undergarments, and what else do you bring? Ding, deal. Shirt, shirt, pants, some Marcus. comfortable stuff, um, some snacks. I know what you just showed you. Right. And uh, you guys, he's not really going to be eating these snacks. He's gonna be eating his snacks that he said. Yeah, you nice. ask your husband to pick out something. Well, like, she went to the store so she could see so, everything. Excuse me. So she got I other said, stuff. I just said wrist night, crackers. I said, babe, I think, think about anything. what you want for a snack. I'm like, you know, think about it so we can have it. And then you're like, I mean, only thing I'd want was Ritz crackers. That's what I could think of at the time. But if I got a whole store looking at me, then yeah. And now he's talking about, no, nah, I'm getting some of your snacks. Yeah. But, um, but honestly, yours is mine. 
That's true, but honestly, I don't even know if we'll eat it. Like, no, we'll we eat it before, man. Like that night. So. Yeah, that night while we're ripening. anticipating, waiting. That's about all. So you, but you just, I knew, like when I imagine him packing his bag, like I just see him like throwing stuff into the yeah, bag. Yeah, I'll do that later. <laughs> He'll do that tomorrow. Shirts. No, I'll do it right now. In just a okay. Minute. Like, going through all this, I just kind of forget, like, we don't even know what the baby is, a boy or a girl, so that just kind of slips my mind sometimes. But it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Like, we found out, if we get pregnant again, I'm finding out. Yeah, this is probably the last time we'll do this. <laughs> First and last. You know, you guys who do it every time, you're brave. Kudos. Yeah. All right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. And they just now called us in. Inducing of the baby. I didn't have my seatbelt on, y'all. Don't judge me. How you feeling? I feel like it's about time. Wait for two and a half days. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a long time. Um, but, anyways, I don't want to rush anybody else. You know, it was a long time ago. But, anyways. I'm nervous. <laughs> so. But we trust in God. Things yes. gonna be all right. Yes. But we know it's a process. Yes. Every time we have to push these babies out, they just mm -hmm. want to stay in there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I guess I haven't waited past 41. So maybe my, they say on average, babies come 41 to 42 weeks. <laughs> Why <are> you? <laughs> Because of green light. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. All right. Well, we'll, I guess, come back when we're checked in and all set up, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. You guys, I don't care how many times you have a baby. Ooh, I got two plates of water. You still get scared. So, I just got off on the wrong floor. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm going in. All right, just parked the car. Now I gotta go find the room, the area that we're supposed to be in. I got a really great parking spot in the deck because it's five o'clock in the morning. About to get on this elevator. But yeah, I don't know where to go. I gotta ask somebody. I'm going downstairs. All right, we'll see y'all in the room. All right, we're in the room now, checked in finally. And we are in, let's see, take a look at the room real quick. It's pretty nice. Don't be showing no names. We got no names on. We incognito. Um, so yeah, we're about to get the process started. I gotta go, go run and get her some food. I got a, a nice little restaurant thing. Bistro downstairs. Ugh. Oh, nasty bistro. The bistro. bistro. Anyway, uh, get her some food real quick for breakfast because it's early and they need, she needs to eat. All right, we'll see y'all later. Hey you guys, it's, we got here at five and it is now 6.15. It, oh, we got here at 5 a.m. and now it's 6.15 and I got the epidural around five and um, you can good. eat jello. Yeah, she's As much jello as you jello. want. I think I have like, <laughs> I only had two, did I have two or three? Three. I had three? Like, yeah, the first one for lunch, and then you asked two for the Okay, nurse. well, no, I'm talking about the ones I had to ask for. Anyways, I got two Jellos. I'm holding off until the next nurse gets here. Which is 45 minutes? Yes, and then I'll get me another Jello. And, um, yeah, so everything's going well. So if you go to have a baby, just remember. You can have Jello. As much Jello and soup as you want. 
Well, yeah, who we wants were, soup? We were watching the live stream from our congregation, so that was cool. Yes, that was. I'm yeah. thankful we have that. But, um, yeah, so hopefully we'll have a baby here. A couple in, hours, probably. Yeah, a couple hours, maybe a few hours, some hours, because some is four. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, anyways, um, we've got my aromatherapy going. Here you go, show them. And show them the eyeball. Got the lights up here that when they... Showtime is gonna happen. Uh, let me go. There you go. The lights on eyeballs. Then we got some home therapy going peppermints. So we're you know we're doing big things in here. You know we just we do what we can. Control, but we're not. But, anyway, uh, but yeah, we're, whoa, ugly angle. I guess we're kind of pros now. We are not semi pros. Yeah, but um, I'm trying to hold it where I don't look so. <laughs> Pitiful. Um, thank you. That's what happens when you have a baby for somebody. <laughs> no, but um, anyways, uh, yeah, that's all we got to say now. Hopefully, we have a baby next time we come back. Bye. We have a baby. Okay, we did it. Baby Grace. Baby Grace. Baby, why are you so close? Yeah. Mama. Did great. Papa did great too because it got crazy at the end. But um, we're through and we're about to go upstairs to the uh, postpartum room. <laughs> room. And um, it was 15 hours of labor. This is Grace Suzanne Graham and she was 7 pounds and 10 ounces. Yeah. Not as big as we thought. No, thank goodness. So, anyways. We're just surprised it's a girl. We're just in shock, you guys. Yeah, we don't we really know. Are. I don't know. Honestly, and let me tell you something. She act like she don't need us. Like, she came out and she cried and she ain't cried it. And then when they put her on the warmer, she didn't cry. And then when they took her from me, she didn't cry. Mm -hmm. And so, Chilling. she cried for her shots like, what, five seconds? But anyways, we're so thankful to God that the little baby's born. Yeah, we made it on the other side. Woo! We did. Oh, excuse me. Okay, you guys. Um, we are now in the newborn state. The baby is, baby Grace is more alert. And she is so sweet and cute. And we are waiting to be released. So, Raph is happy. Yes, it's been about two days since we've come up here and everything's gone good with recovery and all that. And she's been passing all her tests. And so we've just been hanging out, but now Today's the day we're getting out of here. And it's Tuesday. Yep, Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, it's, I miss my baby. Yeah, we haven't seen the babies in a little bit. Yeah, I miss my babies. So we're about to pick up something to eat and then go home. But we're just waiting on the people to come back so we can get these papers or whatever. So. Rash favorite part. Yeah, they know people trying to get out of here. <laughs> And they take their time. <laughs> Show them the bed. Like, like we ready to go. Everything packed up. Just got a strapper in the car seat. Victoria's got to get wheeled down. And we'll get up out of here. It's the bed. Yeah, there you go. Baby's home with her brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're home and we got through it. And looks like I got a lot to learn. And uh, you 
you say so, mine got my thoughts together. I just had a baby. All right, we're home and we're thankful that everything went well. And it's time for life to begin. Thanks for watching us on this journey. And we'll see y'all next time. I'll be the light.